This tutorial will show you how to create a Kubernetes cluster using Cluster API Cloud Stack Provider. Cluster API is a Kubernetes subproject focused on providing declarative APIs and tooling to simplify provisioning, upgrading, and operating multiple Kubernetes clusters. Cluster API also supports a range of providers, including Apache Cloud Stack and the most popular cloud management platforms and hyperscalers. Prepare your local desktop, making sure you have installed Cluster CTL, a Cluster API command tool, Kind, kubectl, and Docker. For production purposes, we recommend using a real Kubernetes cluster. Make these resources available in your cloud stack. A Kubernetes compatible template. Create a credential file. An isolated or shared network. In this video, we will demonstrate how it works using an isolated network a service offering with minimal requirements for Kubernetes nodes. Optionally, an SSH key registered in CloudStack. In the Apache CloudStack UI, register a supported template. You can find some templates available in the community repository. If you need to use a different Kubernetes version, you can find out how to build one in the CAPC project page. Copy your credentials from the CloudStack UI and create a new file. This file needs to have a CloudStack endpoint, public, and the secret keys. Create an isolated network and acquire a new public IP address. This IP will be used as Kubernetes endpoint for your CAPC control plane. Add a new SSH key, or use one you have already registered. It enables operators and developers to access the CAPC cluster nodes. Create or use a service offering with the minimal Kubernetes requirements. In the terminal, export the variables needed to set up CAPC, such as zone, network, the public IP address, the service offering for both nodes, the SSH key. Now, launch a new Kubernetes cluster using Kind. Remember, this is not suitable for production environments. Wait until the cluster is ready to proceed. Initialize the CAPC managing cluster. Wait for all of the components to be ready. Now generate the CAPC YAML spec file and apply it. It will deploy the Kubernetes cluster nodes in the Apache CloudStack infrastructure. Wait until all components are ready. It will take a few minutes. Generate the cube config to access the CAPC cluster. Deploy Calico in the CAPC cluster to enable network communication between the containers using the cube config generated in the previous step. Wait until Calico is ready to proceed. Deploy a Kubernetes dashboard using your own YAML file. You can find some examples in the Kubernetes project GitHub. Wait until the dashboard is ready. Get the dashboard token and start a proxy. Open the dashboard panel to test if it's running. The CAPC cluster is now manageable using the dashboard. Create a Nginx deployment in the CAPC cluster and create a service node port for your deployment. Create an HTML file with some content and copy it to the Nginx pod file system. Now, since a CloudStack isolated network is being used by the CAPC, you will need to take additional steps to adjust the firewall rules in order to open the Nginx service port and create a load balancer for your application.
copy the IP address and open a new tab in your browser to access it.